Hey fellow Film Fighters and Film Fights fans, I'm Simon and this week we go from Civil War to the Fab Four. It's Film Fights TV. Film Fights TV. We set the rules, you make the films, you decide the winner. Here on Film Fights TV we look at all the heavyweight entries for each contest on the video competition site filmfights.com. I'll give them a fun review and choose my favourite. This week it's the turn of the Short Docs History Fight. So if you haven't watched the entries yet, pause this video, go check them out and I'll see you back here in a few. We have two cool entries to look at. First up is The Brookville Raid by Calusa Media. This was a nicely put together documentary with some great camera work. I particularly liked your title shot with the lone soldier and the map graphics demonstrating the movement of the troops. You also got a lot of interesting information across in a short space of time and did a great job of syncing the cannon fire with the music. Your audio was good and you found some great characters to interview. I felt that the vocal harmonies at the start peaked a little, but apart from that I couldn't really find any issues. Thanks for your entry and well done on making the heavyweights for the fourth time in a row under the Calusa Media team name. Next up we have The Beatles, A Journey Through Dejection by Team Amiga. Here you have a nice selection of public domain Beatles clips that really showed how huge they were back in the 60s, with Paul McCartney's voiceover that touched on the controversy that sometimes surrounded their music. Stock footage is a great way to add production value to your documentary, but it shouldn't be all stock footage. You had two full minutes to play with and only used half of that, I felt you really needed something else here. Maybe an interview with someone who was around in the Beatles heyday, perhaps a grandparent who could share their experiences of Beatlemania for a different perspective. Or you could have recorded your own voiceover with instances of the negative criticism they received because I didn't really feel the journey through dejection that your title promised. I also felt you needed to trim your clips a little better. There are a couple of times where you got a frame or two flash up from a previous clip. This just needed tidying up a little. I think your idea was a good one, it just needed that little extra something. Thanks for your entry and well done on making the heavyweights. That's true, you, know, you can trust to the fact that things are generally not as bad as you make them out to be. Well it's time for me to choose my winner and for me it's got to be the Brookville Raid because it was nicely shot, well put together, had some great interviews and was everything you'd expect from a short doc. Well done Calusa Media. Do you agree? Let me know down below. And don't forget to head over to filmfights.com after this video and cast your vote. While you're there also have a look at the future fights section. The next one is Valentine's Day. Make a video owed to someone or something that you really love this Valentine's Day. It should be no longer than 30 seconds and is due February 9th. The Super Bowl fight was won by Red Flag. Well done on getting your first win with your second ever entry. You've earned your place in the Film Fights Hall of Fame. If you fancy a spot on the Film Fights Hall of Fame, why not come over and get involved? It's an awesome community for filmmakers of all levels, free to join and a great place to get inspiration and hone your skills as a filmmaker. Next time on Film Fights TV, we'd like you to join us in welcoming a brand new host to the Film Fights TV team. So if you don't want to miss that and future episodes of Film Fights TV, why not subscribe to the Film Fights YouTube channel? Thanks for watching. <laughs>